Our local athletic directors have a tough job. They put in countless hours. They are pulling all the right strings to make sure we have local sports. We go beyond the highlights with some of our local ADs. Speaking on behalf of all athletic directors, this is what we do. You know, you, we get used to schedule changes and some years are better than others, but um, we do it for the kids. That's what it's about. And the kids have had a hard enough school year and um, if a little more work on my plate benefits them, then that's all that matters to me. What gets lost in this whole thing is, you know, you want everybody to be safe. And we, we agree with that 100%. Our administration is fully behind that. Uh, but you also want to give these young men the opportunity and young, young women the opportunity to play. Uh, they've worked all their lives to get to this point, to be in high school, to be able to play for their school. And, and they've put a lot of time in. Schools may be opponents on the court or playing field, but through these challenging times, athletic directors have leaned on each other like teammates. They all quickly realized if we are going to get in athletic seasons, they need to work together. In the River to River Conference, uh, we've all worked really well together to get a schedule together, and, and working with officials has been great. Uh, I know they're overwhelmed too, but uh, you know all the ADs that I've worked with have been great in trying to schedule games and reschedule things. Every AD is kind of in the same boat. We, we text each other, call each other all the time. Uh, it's, you know, getting, the, getting the officials for games when you make games up. Uh, it's just a lot of time on the phone. Uh, but, you know, every AD in the area, we all know each other. Uh, we're able to communicate back and forth. You know, even if, if we had a game canceled, you know, what officials we had, can we send them to you? You know, that kind of stuff. So. Uh, it's, it's a pretty close-knit group. Everybody works together. Everybody's trying to find games. If you spot a local athletic director, good chance they are on their phone. They are great communicators and have really taken to social media to keep us informed. Marion's Ryan Gadiski said he got some of the best career advice from Mount Vernon's Doug Creel. You know, you got to stay ahead of it, and you got to try to stay ahead at all times. And uh, that's, that's just something I took to heart. And, you know, anytime there's a change, I'm on it immediately. I'm, I'm letting workers know, I'm, you know, contacting officials, um, you know, talking to coaches, and I'm trying to communicate with our parents and our local media. Our ADs are kings of multitasking. Some have young children at home, and they are able to balance the job and family life. For me, it's been really wild. Uh, we just had a, a, a newborn uh, two weeks ago, so right as soon as uh, basketball started, uh, we had a new baby in the house. So uh, it's, it's been wild here for the last couple of weeks, but uh, you know, my wife is very supportive and uh, people here at school are very supportive as well. This is what dad does, and it's time for dad to go to work. And uh, I think they're happy that I'm getting to do what I love to do, and, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Tuesday night hoops, Christopher at Ziegler, Royalton, and Anthony Roa. Strong take to the basket, times it right, gets the and one, and the Bearcats not done playing some pretty ball. Colin Sveda, the triple, and Rick Shavekia from downtown gets the tornadoes on the board, but Christopher goes on to win 57-28. Carterville at Pickneyville, big game in the river to river. Panthers find Vaden Sapansky. Uh, driveway jumper perfected in the front yard and then the end of a first quarter beats the buzzer Duke Riggins in the nick of time that's good three-pointer is also the great equalizer the extra pass to Bryce Anderson Ooh, pretty shot they needed overtime and Pinckneyville holds off Carterville 53 46 all right let's get you caught up around the area Massac County 60 West Frankfurt 31 Harrisburg Gets by Heron at 64-55, El Dorado 51, Johnson City 34, Hamilton County outlasts Edwards County 50-41, Goreville gets by Vianna in a big way, 82, Vianna 47, Fairfield, they just keep on winning 55-26 over Carmen.